The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and growling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 237, Nasdaq's up 88, S&Ps are up 24, gold contract up 35 bucks at 13.84 an ounce. We get silver up uh, 39 cents, 15 dollars 35 cents an ounce. Bottom line, monster bid inside the metals market as well as oil. That was the one thing I didn't get to in the update, just because we have so much going on, um, as in the oil action, right? The American uh, drone being shot down over the Strait of Hormuz, and then you got oil. Uh, excuse me, gold and metals. Let alone the S and P, man. Totally. Oil up 222, trading 55.98. Notes and bonds. Bottom line, folks. Ten-year note up six ticks, 128.01. Thirty-year up five at 150. 518. The third, the t 10 year broke to 1.7 is coming at us, folks. We're sitting right at that 2%. You not love bad. It, man. Not bad. King dollar. King dollar down at 387 ticks, trading 96,195. The euro is at 112. The yen is at 107 and a quarter and uh, seven tenths. And the pound is at 126,84. It's St. Patrick's Day, so we might as well get over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Green across the board, Green across man. the board, man. That's and right. listen, folks, every trading day right here, you want to understand option, option strategies, futures, great program, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't test-driven yet the Thinkorswim platform, great time to do it. As you're at our website, just hit the button, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money. You can follow Kevin and his team every trading day. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. You know, this is an interesting day because this market, what the action you're getting today shows that Jerome Powell navigated this, you know, this Fed meeting pretty effectively, right? Yes. The yes. question that we were asking before we came on is, how do you lower rates without scaring the market? Right. And he was able to basically, you know, no one, a lot of people, you know, me included, uh, didn't think they, they, they were going to lower rates. But we thought he would guide towards July. Looks like he's kind of done that. But that being said, he's got another whole month and a half of data to look at right? to make his case. So I thought it was, you know, really well done. And the market's giving him a big thumbs up today. You know, it's crazy is that just, I think most of us, it's hard to even understand it. I mean, I was looking for bonds to go lower, you know, just because it looks, you know, the whole world. I mean, but it's like still pretty strange, man, that we get a good economy and he's, they're going to raise lower rates dramatically. Right. You know, it's like, it right. is what it is. It's like I'm, I'm sitting there saying, okay, so what does that mean? What, what is, like, where is the real value here? Because there's no doubt yep. we already have what this morning, Bloomberg said this morning that, the number this morning in negative debt in the bond market was twelve point seven trillion. <laughs> so it's like, okay, yeah, you know, where's that money gonna go? You know, so it's pretty cool, right. man. I mean, it's pretty wild watching but this Tom, whole thing shake out. I have to ask you a question. I have to throw this interview back at you and say, what's going on with gold? Yeah, we get action. Two point seven percent. I no. mean, that is amazing. You know, now you can say that it's you know, the effect of the lower dollar, which greatly affects gold, as you know, but, but it's a bigger move than a lot of people thought it would be. It is. And, you know, well, technically, it's you got an ABC up to 1401. I think what you have, and this is where my head's going, Kevin, is that uh, even, you know, driving back and forth to work, I seem to think, you can think, you know, we all do mental calisthenics, right? And so I'm saying to myself, okay, if there's a negative 12.7 trillion, the argument of never owning gold was always that, hey, gold doesn't pay interest. Well, guess what? What's happening now is that to hold cash, you're, you're going negative. It's like, so, okay, well, right. that doesn't, you know, if that's the case, well, you know what? The gold, the gold market and silver market, the metals market in general is so tiny that all it takes is a few money managers to say, okay, man, I'm getting into gold. It's not, you know, it's not 
like a big equity market. Do you know what I mean? Sure. And you know, you've seen this run before. Now, this is the this is this, there's no doubt what Kevin's saying, it, folks. This is this brings you back almost like 20 years. You know, you, if gold starts moving at two and three and four percent a day, which I've seen it, I've seen it go fifty dollars up when gold was trading only at five fifty and eight fifty. That's like insane compared. You know, but guess what? If that's what's going to happen, you're going to see some monster moves here, and that's without the dollar. And, and you, you know, know, getting croaked. As, right. As a futures trader, I always go right to you know the term structure of the contract and the and the June contract, which is now no longer the active, and it's 21 days into deliveries. You know, because you think maybe they're squeezing the front month yes. or something like that, but no. All the all the spreads look like they're holding here, right? With very little movement between each month. So, uh, with with August right now being the active month, no, that that is not the case. So these these months are up across the board pr pretty significantly here. Um, you know, it's a great point. It's just a strong day, right? It's just a good strong day, right? right. I mean, you know, the term structure on the monthly contract is holding, so. I don't, you know, it, it, you got to look at some other place for, for your reason why gold is so strong. No, I, listen, it, it, well, like if we go to Home Depot, Home Depot is up three dollars and thirty cents at at two eleven, right? And yeah, you know, what happens is that you know if if we're going down on rates, well, guess what? Hard assets should be worth more money. That's you know, right. I mean, that's the fundamental look, right? You know, um, what's intriguing here, of course, is that the S and P is going to go. You know, it's breaking highs and wants to go higher. Everything wants to go higher. I mean, it's it St. Patrick's Day, man. You know, <laughs> what are we going to do? It's a beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I see the dollar, I see the VIX, and I see the ten-year yield. The only thing on my board that's that that that's red. <laughs> that it, it, it's on our screen. It's the exact same thing. Do you know what I mean? Pretty, yeah. pretty amazing. You know, the banks. You know, I, the banks should, and some of them are. I see J.P. Morgan's down here. I see Wells Fargo's down a little bit. But Goldman's up. Citigroup's up. So the banks are even staying mixed to, to strong in this lower uh, yield environment. So, you know, this is just I, – I really think this is a market that is poised to go to another level. Yeah. Right? If they can keep – because why they're lowering rates is because inflation isn't picking up, right? right? So, right. I mean, but this is still this is still a market that we've never really witnessed before. I, so there's no, there's no doubt. Trade it carefully. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, man. I, you know what the good news is? Is that we're not too euphoric, all of us right now. Because the, the euphoric, if everyone gets way too euphoric, that's when there's always a problem. Do you know what I mean? I think right. people still leer. Time has... Time has taught us not never to get too euphoric. It, it, totally, totally, you know. Pretty, yeah. Pretty, pretty amazing. There's no doubt about it. Listen, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, great program. If you haven't checked out uh, the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform, real easy to do. Go to our website, hit that banner, bring it up. Uh, it's going to be an exciting program today, no doubt, as it is There's every day. a little day. bit going on in the market, maybe. <laughs> With some lower rates, we're going to talk about some home builders today. Yeah, oh, yeah it's, perfect. It's, it's there, man. It's there. You right. Know, we've just gone down a half a percent in the 30 year in six months. You know, 30 year mortgage. Huge. Kevin, you have a great weekend, a safe weekend. We look forward to speaking the next Tuesday. And of course, we look forward to the show in 45 minutes. Thanks for having me on, guys. Talk soon. Thanks, Thank Kevin. You. Have a great one, man. Stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. Dow's up to 222, NASDAQ's up 90, SPs are up 24. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up by 218. NASDAQ is 83. S&Ps are up 23. And we have uh, natural gas. We sure do. Pull it up. So it's Thursday. We're going to get the EIA inventory numbers in about 11 minutes from right now, 1030 a.m. Eastern time. We're looking at the July natural gas contract. We got it up here. And natural gas trading just at about 230, 229.8. I'm going to jump in and see, and as we say that, climbing above 2.30. Uh, we'll start it off with the 11 a.m. spread, so what's nice is these line up exactly at 2.30. You're paying no intrinsic value. We're looking for bullish and bearish, right? We're going to buy a bullish spread. We're going to sell a bearish spread. So here's right our... Too. That's what, yeah, yeah, so we're only going to be paying premium, no intrinsic value, which makes these sometimes as affordable as they get, at least. Uh, so for the 11 a.m.s, cost you about 11 bucks to the upside, and that's because you literally have almost a tick to the upside in right. value. 10 bucks to the downside, 21 bucks, 2.1 pennies away from 2.30. You got until 11 a.m., not a bad trade. Let's see where they line up for the noons. Uh, jump into the noon exposures, uh, expiration, excuse me. Same exact price points, which yeah. is nice. And check this out. Even uh, there's your, your difference. So as in, if you want to buy the bullish one till 11 a.m., you're paying 11 cents. Uh, 1.1 pennies, uh, $11. And you're paying $13 for the noon. So two extra bucks for the bullish side. It's going to be a very similar two extra bucks on the bearish side, I assume. There it is. So you're looking at 25. Uh, did I, what happened? You said that. There we go. So 25. So $21 for the 11, $25 for yep. the noon. And let's see if we're fortunate enough where uh, some of these dailies might line up with 230 as a price point as well. Okay, those do. Let's look for even the bigger ones. Perfect. So these are the full dailies. We're going to get 50 cents of possible exposure. Now we're paying 18 for the bullish one instead of 13. And we're probably going to be paying a pretty similar 18 on the bearish since we're sitting right at the price point. And sure enough, we are. 36. So 21, 25, 36. 3.6. Uh, the difference with 2. the 30. 2.1 to 3.6, right. And the difference with the 36 is that not only do you get till 2.30, but if you happen on the rare occurrence, get more than 20 cents of value. Right. You have profit potential all the way up to 280 Half as opposed to you got 250 on the 11s and the 12s. It's a monster, man. And I mean, you know, you're only paying for that 
11 and 12 between 2.1 to 2.5 pennies, and we just traded three pennies in the last hour. Right. With no right. inventories. So not not a bad volatility yeah, we're premium. We're on the July contract. So yes. NG. Let's see. There we go. Not N. Right yeah. there. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, right at that 230 price point, even though this one's going to be a little delayed, but yep. This is interesting that it saved itself. Look at this. It broke lower and then saved itself. Okay, so let me see. That's... The day's not over. It might not no, I know. 178,000, 174. Oh, this is so interesting, man. Because it's all... What happened here, folks, is that when it broke the lows yesterday... 174,000 contracts versus 178, so it's almost like an ABC down. If it's an ABC down, let me just look at this. 260, is that 264, two, that's 34 cents, man. That brings it to two, 207. 207, and we hit, okay, so doing it that way, it says it's going to go lower. Okay, so let's look at this. Yeah. And then you get a spike, but it tested it. Interesting. So it looks to me like longer term we're going lower. You know, we'll see how this uh, shakes out today, though. Yeah, I think I'd be bearish on that, yeah. too. Yeah. Let's see if we got, what do we got? What do we got? So the whisper number, here's our number, right? Okay. We, got, we got two minutes and 40 seconds to guess it. They get, they get guesses in by five minutes ahead, is okay, what so I Okay, so they get Bloomberg. a build of uh, 106 BCF, right? Yeah, probably. Um, okay. Put something in. What are you going to put in? Well, let's see. So if we're going to be bearish, right, yeah. why not look for more supply than the market right. thinks, right? Right. Let's go for uh, 175. Okay, good. We'll look for an extra build. Hopefully right. that sends prices even lower. We'll see what happens, man. Let's just check back. Sitting right at that 230 price point. And uh, always nice when you want just a straight volatility trade when these line up with that type of uh, price yeah. point. Yeah, you get, you get both way. sides. No yeah, doubt. and we always talk about both sides, but that that's actually a great position if you might just be bullish too, because then you're only paying the one penny. Yes. You're getting in at 231 if you want to be bullish. Right. You can get in at 229 if you want to be bearish, and you're capped with a penny loss. It's huge. If the thing happens to run. All right. Yeah. Uh, some of the higher volume equities out here, uh, Oracle. Oracle came out with numbers last night. That's up 440, trading 5701. You have uh, Micron Tech up 57. Let's see, uh, Facebook up a, a buck 30. Uh, not, not a huge amount uh, out there, meaning percentage wise. Yeah. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, strength versus the weakness out here. It's kind of just everything, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Uh, you get Boeing putting 21 positive points, Home Depot uh, 18. Well, yeah, let's go look at Home Depot because yeah, quite a the interest rate structure, this is going to be a big deal. Um, it's The thing that is wild, folks, and this is the hard thing to get your head wrapped around, is that the interest rates are already low. They're going lower. So specifically, you know, Powell got a question asked to him yesterday at the um, conference saying that if you say you're going to go down, why don't you go down now? Because you could actually, people that are thinking of, of buying cars or anything else would say, well, I'm going to wait until the short-term rate goes down again. Yep. Now, that's one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is that, and that's, that's, I'd say that's the correct view. The other way of looking at it, and that's why you get the Home Depot and Kevin's going to be looking at the builders, sure. is that, guess what, folks, is that the, when you're buying property in general, it's a, it's your signature. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's plenty of cash deals, but it's really a signature in the in the yes, bigger. You're taking out a loan. You're right. taking out sure. a loan. So in the bigger context, just think of something that if you were paying, and you know, we'll get these numbers for you after a break. But if you're paying three hundred thousand, you've getting a three hundred thousand dollar loan six months ago, right? You would have been paying from 0.5, well, four tenths to five tenths less today. So that means that there's that many more people that can qualify for that property you're selling. Sure. So that'll get divvied up between the property going up and the rate going down. You mean Why wouldn't wants. they still wait, though? I thought the point was that you're talking, you they, started it off with... They wouldn't wait in, pro in property because, if they should know that, that as the rate keeps going down, the hard asset's going to keep going up, just as gold's going up. Because the... Because I'm not sure that the residential buyer is that astute to, to I, I, play the market as opposed to knowing that they want to buy a $250,000 house. Yep. They don't want to buy that house that's two fifty. dollars that's then going to be two seventy five. dollars Most people say, I want to buy a $250,000 house. No, I understand that. So they don't, they, it's not that they don't care. If the price goes up, that price is then out of their price I, range. I, I, I but get no matter what, they that, get more house for no, that. No, I get that. And that's why so many people never can get in the housing market because they they're, they're not understanding how that 
correlation is. But uh, so just going one step further. So if you agree that they don't understand that, then they are going to wait. That's it, they are going to wait. Some people are going to wait, but there's always okay. more. There's not always. Right now, there's much more demand than there is supply of houses. That's my point. So there's people that will go for it because they can go for it and they've been waiting for it. Yeah, and we get different views on it. I, I get it. No, no, it mean? doesn't even it doesn't even drive with what you just said that people don't understand it because if they don't understand it, they're going to wait. It's, it's this. not. It's not the whole people don't understand it. There's plenty of people that do understand it. Okay, that will rush right now. Just like the people buying Home Depot, they know that guess what? There's going to be more money spent on housing because the housing is going to be worth more money. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to be coming right back. And we will have those gas numbers for you. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now uh, trading up 215. Nasdaq's up 75. S&P's up 22. Gold's hanging tough. Up 36. Silver's up 37 cents. King Dollar's down 402. Come right back. Folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, natural gas. We got the number. It's a rise. It beat the estimates. Not quite as high as we went. 115 billion cubic feet. Estimate had been between about 104, 106 on the Bloomberg survey. Jumping back to that chart, we should get a drop. And wow. quite a drop, man. Five pennies in a heartbeat. Look and at we're that. already under 225, man. <sighs> quite a trade. Uh, if you had made one of those... <laughs> I, I would probably be taking that money off the table yeah, right now. You, no doubt. You get it that quick. That 
For natural he, gas, that is a monster drop, folks. Especially because it wasn't even that big of a beat. Right? I mean, no. it was like 105. Right. Yeah, there's 10 extra BCFs, okay? Right. It's it's a it's a build, and it's a bigger build than they even thought. And right. Now we're under 224. Um, this is the new, and that one's going to cost you 25 bucks, which is about 2.5 pennies. So on the chart right here, that would have been your break even. You'd be buying back the bearish trade, right? So there's your 250 down. Oops, excuse me. There's your 230 down to 210. That's your bearish. You're going to be buying that back and locking in 58 bucks for the 25 yet on both sides. And if you ever got exposure back over 230, which I don't imagine happening after that move, but you would have that open until uh, 12 o'clock, man. As uh, Mr. Dave White saying in the den, we are awash in a sea of natural gas. There's no, no, because <laughs> now that, what that's going to do, more than likely, is you're going to get volume behind this. And so I just want to see what that price projection is on that so ABC. Quick, quick five pennies, boom, yeah, right exactly. off the top. So what are, oh, now, this that's is the a, delay. We, we had already done it. That's right. Okay, so we had already said it was third. Well, that's 64.30. Yeah, so it's 34 cents. Which is uh, 207. Was 20, oh my God, yeah. 207. What's the low of that recent low in June? No, the yeah. no, the swing point low back. Yep. Yeah. So about 230 where we're yeah. sitting at right there. I just want 2.305. And so when this chart updates, I mean we're sitting at 224. 224. Think, yeah. right. And what was the low yesterday? Out of curiosity. 226. Eight. Yeah. So you get you get serious business, man. So let's just look at this. I want to before we yeah. even jump because I just wanted to see how quick it moves. Okay, sitting right there. Sometimes, man, you give it thirty seconds. It's oh, another three no doubt. pennies. And it's, it goes the other way. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to put this on a continuous contract. Let's see what we have up here. Let's see. Really amazing when you look at that opportunity. If you had ever and people were trying to short it on those spikes when yeah. it was at five, but so watch this, folks. That's the low of 2016. The high of the low is 202. So. We said 204, right? So it's going to yeah. it's going to dig into that bar. Let me just see what's I think that's, we said 207. Okay. It's 34 was the yeah. B to C. I'm going to do this 20 years. Oh my god, this is yeah, we it's gone to all time well, not all time lows, but Yeah, I mean, we're right yeah. down that level. Let's yeah. just see. So, you know, 161 was the low there. We're looking at 190 is the low there. We're looking at 240 is the low there. So, it's lower 200. lows 240, 190. 160, what if that trend continues, right? I mean, we yeah. have the higher high, that's lower high, lower high. Oh, yeah. Lower high, <laughs> lower low, lower low, yeah. lower low, lower low. You know, if you go lower it's, low. Oh, there's no, that, that and is. That's going back to 2005. 2005. We've been and on a can, downward trend since 2005. And you can see how it trended from 2000 in terms of you know, higher yeah. high, higher right. high, lower right. low, lower low. Pretty amazing, low, low. right? Yeah. It really is. It's like, wow. That is something else, folks. And, and guess what? The more forward. oil that we pump out of the um, Permian Basin and the fracking, the more gas there is. And now what has happened is that they, I don't know the exact date, but we're talking about the next year, the pipelines, they're putting pipelines for gas coming out of the, out of the basin. Right? Okay. So, and that's sure. going to just basically get more supply oh. and get the supply to um, all of us that can use it. You and know, that's... that's I was just going to say, it's not stopping, man. I mean, right. 222, we're down about eight pennies now on that news. And I know President Trump had tweeted that Iran made a big mistake. And let's see if that oil, did it get a big reaction? I mean... The, the, well, the S&P did. The S&P sold off a bit there. Okay, yeah, um, I'm sure. And, and you saw oil get a little bit of a yeah. price action. I think that was the bar right there where we saw it go from about 5.18. So we're up almost 50 cents since 10.15 uh, this morning. Yeah. We were only talking 20 minutes ago when uh, the tweet did come out. So let, let me let me look at the S&P for a second. Sure. So you got this, this sold down pretty quick. Uh, people don't blame them. They don't want to be in the middle of a freaking war, another war. So we'll see how this, you just, we just came down from what, 29.63. Well, that's only 10 yeah. points. The high was 29.64.50 really yeah. even before yeah. then. So it really is. And then in the span of, I mean, no. we're at all-time highs. Man, give, it, give it a benefit of the doubt as a little breathing room, it's, would you, before we declare... You, uh, you got a confirmed ABC up in the, in the queues as well as the spies. I, my take is that we're going to do it, you know, because this... I, I think everyone's still trying to figure out, like, rates are going down. There's definitely going to be a camp that does, does the Fed something, know something that we don't know. Sure. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay. It's what a lot of people are trying to understand. They right are. Now, for sure. They really are. You know what I mean? It's, and I can understand it. I totally get it in the context of the world, you know, that the rates, our rates are so much higher than, you know, the rates in general right now. Sure. You know, so I, I get that. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, 
is this going to go on forever? So, because, watch, the, the next leg for the 10-year looks to me like 1.71, and that's going to be where we broke topside the week of the election of 2016. Okay. Now, if we break that, it's 1.38 is the all-time low inside the 10-year. Okay. And, yeah, right there, that big bar, that, that, that's, you see, the, that, that's the, that's yes, the, that's the low, back. right? So, it's actually 1.318. 1.318, okay. 1.318. And I'm figuring that yeah. first it's going to go to this and bar of November. strength, yeah. okay? Now, the higher that is, 215, which is remarkable. I know. And the lowest 170. That's my point, right. that we've, we've dug into that bar. So once yeah. you dig into the bar, it probably is pretty good. You're going to go to the bottom of it. Sure. And it's like, okay, if that's the case, then how is this going to work? Well, we know how it's going to work. You can go negative, but it's like, wow. <laughs> yeah. they get, they they got to get some new course books, I think, in these <laughs> yes, financial the reading schools. material at business Seriously. school is going to be changing uh, it is. or updating. Um, now, you know, with the Fed coming with their cuts down the line, right, just something to keep in mind is that the market's going to be factoring those in, right? And we just dropped from 3.2 to 2. We dropped 1.2% from I know. November. Right. So, so we dropped 1.2% in the span of six months, barely. Um, some of that is factoring in the rate cuts I agree. coming down that, the line. That, it, so it's not like this is going to drop 50 basis points to 1.5 off of that. It still may, but that may mean that the Fed's coming even that, more. Um, that, just to keep in mind that no, you know, I, I, this I, is going to be priced in. You, that's why you just saw, just like not to, but you know, this drop 15 basis points. That's almost a whole cut in right. this week's that's right. tenure. That, that, so they're factoring it in. Like, it's going to be in there by the time we get to July 31st. It might already be. Oh, the market is right. pushing the Fed. Sure. The, the Fed uh, well, normally... Okay. That's not what I said. That's not, that's not what I said, though. It just, I, I understand I, what you said, that okay, it, it was pricing it in, okay, and that that can turn and go up. But the, the market... So I didn't say it was just go in. I'm just saying you don't expect the tenure to follow the rate cuts that the Fed is coming because that's priced in. That's, that's all I said. Okay. No, you were just saying different things. To bring, you were saying that the I said that Fed the, is pushing the market. What no, you no, say? The, that the market is pushing the Fed. Okay, right. The, the amount of buying that we have in the ten-year, the, so the thirty-year. Yeah. You're saying it, the Fed's following the market. Yeah. And I'm just saying the market is pricing in what the Fed is doing. That's what I'm saying. They're contrasting views. Not to say right exactly, right. and then you come back. They're contrasting views. No, I'm just trying to get clear I, for everybody they, else. No, it, do you get clear? No, I, I, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> You're saying that I'm saying the market is following what the Fed has done and pricing it in. You know, I'm saying You're saying the Fed is being influenced by the market. Right. They're two different. I'm saying right. the market is pricing in what the Fed is doing. Right. I'm saying the market's way ahead of the Fed. And that's why they have to catch up. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, 
educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 202. Nasdaq's up 63. S&Ps are up 19. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jack Gleason. Jack Gleason, what's going on, brother? What's going on, guys? Oh, man, it was a late night for me. I was trading. I, believe it or not, caught that move in gold in the overnight session. Um, and actually, I, well, I was going to trade it up to 1388, but I didn't think it was going to trade, you know, at whatever time that was, eight o'clock last night. Yes. And I'm hanging my t-shirts, just got back from vacation. My buddy calls me because he knew I was in the position. He's like, are you looking at gold? I'm like, no. And then I go look at my computer, run to my desk, and I just blast it out at like 1394. But I'm back in it again. I'm rooting for you guys. You bolt, you bolt. Well, we're rooting bowls. for you too, man. <laughs> go for it. That's, you know, so, so check it out. The, like I got this thing, 1401 something. That's the ABC structure on the way up. And what okay. I'm doing there, Jack, is I'm, I'm saying that, you know, on the uh, 14th, we took out that swing on the 7th. And I'm just taking that leg that started down at the 21st. So the 21st to the uh, 7th is one leg, and then I'm just, you know, taking the, the second leg uh, off the 11th. Do you know what I mean? So. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. I could probably, let me, I'll share my screen here and I'll show you guys. So this, this um, target we completed at 88, and I think we're going to continue to go see if I can there's that right button all right then you guys probably see, you guys let me know if you see my screen up here I'm sure our producer is gonna get it up there go for it all right uh, I'm sharing it now so so what we had here um, that 1380 I was looking at so you know we had this initial spike low going back that was August 15th and then the October low to the 2019 high pulled a halfway back in May and that's been done in for 1388 for quite some time. So that was completed uh, yesterday in the overnight session. And then this high, this is when we can start going to those extensions that I talk about. Yes. The high from the 20th of February to high is what we're going to want to watch going forward. If we can continue to hold above these levels, um, we're going to just rip straight up. Now, last night on this pullback, there's two levels that the programs will buy. One is the 38.2, which was 1379.4. Okay. And then the, the major level that you really don't want to see offers below is going to be at 1373.8. So um, those are really the two major levels I'm looking for for this, you know, continuation up. Everybody's talking about the $1,400 level uh, breaking out through. But if we continue to hold this extension, my first target, you're at 1407, I'm at 1409, so I'm right there with you. And then, you know, it's finally the breakout. We've all been waiting for it. And I think last time I was on, we, talk, we talked about it. I was like, maybe it's coming, maybe it's coming. Right. Uh, you know, and uh, looks like it is. But then oil, too, I think I wasn't on last week, but the week before, I, I did get long that, too. But uh, I think we're going to get all the way up to 5728 here today. Um, but uh, that's also been a huge, huge move. Uh, let me go to the S and P. Yeah, it's gonna, what's going to get interesting here to see is, you know, are we going to, you know, bottom line, has the, is the dollar going to pull back 
and then just have a monster commodity run, you know, in general. You know what I'm saying? You know what you're saying, and, and you know I know, the only commodities I really trade are oil and gold. That's good. But, that's that. that, that's, that I, you know, I get you there, right? Yeah. But I mean, but I mean, if this is how they're going to move, I'm going to trade oil. I'm going to trade gold. I'm going to trade copper. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to throw the indexes out of the way. Yeah, just, totally. You know, they, I, co copper's good, Jack. Copper is really liquid. Copper's a good one. Co yeah, it's, it's liquid. Yeah. It's just like oil, and you know. I really, I really just feel like that. This morning actually is my largest. Uh, overnight gain ever for me personally. Good for you. Congratulations, but, man. That's yeah, huge. so you know I'm, I'm running out of a little, little bit of sleep, but uh, it, Why not? it's just this just really feels like one, the beginning with everything the Fed's doing, the the way that, that that like this could be the commodity beginning of maybe the commodity bull run that people have been looking for for like a decade. That's uh, correct. Well, the last you know? the last run. So picture this. Oh my God, you were, you were. Yeah. An infant? No. The last I was run. A doctor. I the, was a doctor. The, the real last run started in two, 2002 and kind of ran to about 2006. No, about 2011 actually. It got hit and then it went again. But that, that's right. It's it's nine years that they've been getting smoked, you know, on the way down. So, mm -hmm. you know, we'll and, see. And, and that's other... that's when the dollar did go all the way from 120 down to 78. So in 2002, the dollar was 121. The dollar index it went all the way down to 78. And that's what. It, you know, if that's what we got, you're gonna. It's it's one of those correlations that hey, commodities are priced in dollars. So dollar goes lower, people buy more commodities. Sure. You know, countries in general. You know, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, not not to mention, you know, everything going on more on the grain side of things. You know, over here in Illinois, farmers can't plant. It's supposed to rain. So like the next six days, I, I, I'm actually getting sick of it. I'm gonna be joining you guys real close, wow. real soon. That's I, it, it's just constant. It's been the it has been the most mild summer so far uh, that I could remember. It, it's you know yesterday it's like 60 degrees. It's the middle of June. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's it, it really is it really is strange uh, from the the weather standpoint. So I think corn. I mean, those are going to continue just because of the environmental factors affecting yeah. all the planting. I mean, I don't look too much into that stuff, but it'll make for an active market. No, but it matters. You're right. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. You're, right. When you're in it, it matters, right? Yeah, you you're can... in the breadbasket. Where you guys, that's really important what you're talking about there, folks. Uh, because what happens is that the Chicago. I mean, you go right over the border. Um, Indiana monster, and then you just that whole area. You just keep going. That's all farm country, man. And that's that's the that's the food bowl. You know, you go from there to the Midwest. That's you know that's that's feeding the world, man. So that weather is not great. Um, you know, bottom line is that uh, it makes a difference. We'll see know. it in those charts. Yeah, Seriously. we we had uh, Jack. This is a great story, just for you guys in Chicago and the CME in, in particular. Um, we had a great friend that was was in the business, Ed Young. And uh, out of Chicago, right, trader. And he had this story that he used to tell, right? It was a great story, too. It was a real story. This really happened at the CME. Like, this would be, you know, a long time ago, 30 years ago, whatever, is that you guys were having a drought out there. And what ended up happening is that one of the, one of the traders, right, at the CME, okay, turned around and got above the trading floor, folks, right? And start pouring water down, and all the traders so. thought, "Oh, okay, it, this is it. Rain's coming." Boom! They were driving prices. <laughs> that was like one of the best stories I've ever heard. I mean, it's, it's like you better you, watch it, out in those pits. Anything totally. goes, man. You, you, you know, you never could get away with anything like that now. No. But guess what? You, you Thirty years ago, in federal prison. But you, you, seriously, <laughs> seriously, that's hilarious. Isn't yeah, that that's cool? a clip. That that that's really cool. That's really funny. I'd love I'd love to know if that guy had a position on it or if he was just punking him. Oh no no no! Oh, These sure, positions yeah. you could get away with it then. You oh. know what I mean? You couldn't now, but you know how all you guys think in Chicago. Everyone would love to do that. Do you know? What oh I mean? yeah, no, it's all a bunch of you know. Everyone's getting the money where they can. That's how the system right. toss. There we go. Yeah, I mean you get on that street, folks. Okay, whether it's at you know seven in the morning or. Noon or you know three in the afternoon, and that's central time. Not you know you, you just you, you feel it, you see it. Yeah, no doubt. Well, listen, man, you have a great one, safe one, and uh, we'll figure out. Uh, we're going to take a lottery as to where you're going to be doing the show from next Wednesday. Well, I like it. <laughs> Probably because well, I'm at home right now, but hopefully I'll be sunshine. In my office, most likely. Sunshine. All right, guys. Thanks for having me on. Take care. Jack, okay. appreciate it, man. Thank you. Have a great Later. one, man. Have a safe one.
Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now trading up 217. Nasdaq's up 68. S&Ps are up 20. Gold up 38. Whoops. Come right back. And how about natural gas? Natural 221. Gas. We touched 220. Look at that. 219. All right. We'll right Stand back. right there, folks. Come right back. 219. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, self African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow up at 210, NASDAQ up 64, S&Ps up 20. And uh, if you come over to our website, at TFNN, folks, uh, Taz Profile Scanner. We still got it up there, man. Um, of course, anybody, whenever you subscribe, we're going to make that archive that you guys did. Really, Steve Dahl did a great job. He did you a great job. You introduced him, yeah. moderated it kind of yeah. well, of course. But Steve really did a 60-minute workshop walking you through. I was sitting here listening to it. And I'm actually going to go back and watch the archive again. Um, yeah. Just because right. he really breaks down how you can look at things in there, how you're breaking down, whether it's... The 240, the 60, you That's look right. at it all below the boxes, above the boxes. And you can put them on one, uh, you know, I've been using build this a for list? a couple of years. No, Not build, oh, okay. I, I didn't, I didn't realize. He did a couple of things. That the, was building cool. the list is great. And yeah. I, didn't, I, I, I didn't know, even after a couple of years, that you can just go over to the top and mix and match the futures with the equities. Because yeah. I've gone... I, I use both of them. Definitely. So, uh, but that's pretty cool. It's done the same deal. So that was great last night uh, for people that attended. Thank you for attending. Thank you for signing up. For all those out there, I encourage you to check it out. You'll get your access to the scanner ASAP, man. You'll download it, and that uh, that archive is going to be up um, probably within the next hour up there for everybody. So check it out. 
It'll be up there for subscribers, and uh, it's great stuff, man. And natural gas. Oh, yeah. So we touched down 219, man. We were saying quite a jump. 10 pennies. Now, we look at the volatility trades, which are two, two and a half pennies. We were bearish, though, right? If right. you just wanted to go bearish, it was only going to cost you about one penny, right? It was 11 bucks on either side if you wanted a directional trade. And uh, that would have been almost a 10-bagger. Um, not a bad, not it's a, a big bad number. Um, Thirty-minute trade for no, sure. Totally. Yeah. If we go back over to gold, gold's holding, folks. It's going to be the, you know, and you know what we've talked about is that that was it's been push, push, push with volume this whole time. So you stay right there, folks. We got fast market coming up next, and we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Go get him, folks.